What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video of Cup of Code 01. Today we're uh, adding another video to our basic Python series. Uh, just to keep the ball rolling, when you're done with this series, please jump over to 100 Days of Python Mastery. You can't even do these two guys uh, together at the same time uh, if you really want to push the, push the envelope. Um, and then also make sure you're hitting up the Python projects, jumping into pandas, knocking out the Python games, just coding, coding, coding. The more you do, just the better and faster you're going to get. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. So right, we have, it's asking us to create an array of five integers and display the array items. And then we're gonna access them via indexing. So first off from array, import the star. So that means that there's a library um, array and we're importing all of it. That's what the star is simply meaning. So I'm gonna F8 through that and we can see type codes. It gives me my type code there. Uh, that's just put, storing it into memory. And then we have, I want that to go away, cool. Array num is just a variable that we created and it's equaling the array. So we're calling uh, one, of the, one of the methods of that library. And then we just have i comma, and then we have five integers. Those integers can be anything you pick. They don't have to be um, odd numbers as you, you see that I, I have here. So essentially what it's saying is the, the, the array is gonna be essentially named i, the, var the string i that we have there. And with i, we're applying, we wanna make it an array and we're giving it a list of what those numbers are gonna be in the array. So let's run through that. So now we just have array num, we have our variable, and then we have our, our piece stored into memory. <clears throat> and now we're gonna knock out a for loop. So for i in array num, so array num, as you can see, is the variable above, and for i, just meaning for each individual element, that i could have been anything. Uh, each individual element within that array, and our array is simply those prime numbers uh, that are listed there in the list. So it's gonna first go through, i is gonna be one, because that's the first uh, integer within our list, and then it's gonna print i. So on the right-hand side, I should see one show up, and I sure enough, I do. And now i, what do you think it's gonna turn into? i in the next part of the list is gonna go to three, print three, and five, and seven, and nine accordingly. And once we print nine, we are now done with that for loop. It's gonna go back up to the four i in array, but there are no more i's in that array. So we're gonna jump down to the next executable line of code. So here we have print, and then we're saying access the first three items individually. Now we're gonna do indexing from that array that we created. And again, indexing, we're essentially just making bracketed list and we're in hitting the index we want. Don't forget Python indexes from zero. So it's just gonna print out that string that I wrote and misspelt. Uh, print array uh, num, array num is the variable and then we're indexing for zero. So what do you think is gonna print? And you should have said one. And then we're going to index of one and then index of two. And accordingly, it's just gonna go along that list. Nothing, nothing special there. But again, this is why this is basic Python. Uh, next part, append a new item to, end, to the end of an array. So uh, appending is simply meaning adding. Uh, we can also remove, there's other, other functions we can utilize within Python. So first off it says print, and then we're putting in a string starting array, comma array none. So when I F8 through that, you're gonna see on the right-hand side, we printed the string starting array, and then we have the variable array num, and it prints it out that variable, which is exactly what we have there, the variable i with the array method from, that, from its library applied to that list. And then we have array num dot append 11. So dot append means we're using the append method on the array num uh, variable. And then we have 11 in parentheses. And if you look up top, what it did, if in memory here, originally we had 13579, now we have 135711. So what that dot append did is it added the number 11 to our list up above. And it added, it's always gonna add it, the, the dot append is its default is at the end of a list. Um, almost like um, when, you're, when you're popping off of a list, it's always gonna pop off the back of the list first. Append's always gonna add to the back of the list, or the end of a list, rather. And then we just have print new array, and then we have the variable array num. So now the variable array num should be different because we appended it. So sure enough, new array string, array i, and then we have the number 11 here. So the append did work. We were able to add it to the list. Next, I just have reverse the order. So right now we're going uh, in ascending order numerically. This is to reverse the order. And so what I'm doing here is printing array num, which is the variable, and then I'm doing those, the colon colon is um, saying uh, start at the beginning, start at the end, and then we're going backwards. Start at the beginning and at the end. So going from the beginning of the list to the end of the list, and then reverse it. That's the negative one. Negative one means going the opposite direction. So we're gonna F8 through that, and sure enough, that's gonna work. We have 11, 9, 7, 5, 3, and 1. 
So we're able to reverse it. There are also reverse functions that exist within Python you could have used. Uh, now we have insert a new value before the number three. So if we look at our list, number three is an index position one. So we're probably gonna have to utilize that somehow. So it says insert a new value before the number three. So we have print array. So if I F8 through that on the right hand side, we printed our array. And then what do we have next? We have array num dot insert. So we're inserting, this is remember our pen was at the end of the end of the, uh, the list. Insert two comma four. So here I have, I want the number four at an index of two. So an index of two is zero one two is gonna be at the five. So let's see what's gonna happen. And then we wanna print that array out. And what you could have seen up above is that it would have added the number four in the index position of two. Now, we didn't do what the instructions said because it says insert a new value before the number three. And remember how I said the number three is index of one, right? Well, this first parameter, this first argument that, we putting in, that we're putting in with the dot insert method is giving the index position. So index, index position of two, and it's gonna put it after that, that index position. Or rather, it's going to, um, it's going to make that, <clears throat> excuse me, it's gonna make the number we're putting in the index position. So what I'm saying here with two comma four is I'm saying I want the number four at to be at the index position of two. So what's at the index, where is three right now? And I said put it at before the number three. Three is existing at index position one. So if I wanted the number four to be uh, before three, then I would want index position one comma four. That would have then placed the four before the three because it would have made four index of one. So then I would have had zero, four, three. So that would have been, then it would have been appropriate. Um, so I'm, I'll, I'll keep that the way it is there. And if you want, I'll even, I'll even run that for you. Um, print array run. We'll put a correction just so we can see exactly where it is when we are running it. So here I have correction array. So you can see what, whoops, sorry. Uh, one, four, three, five, seven, nine, eleven. So <clears throat> just by changing the index, index position, it puts the four or whatever number we're putting there into the appropriate spot in our list. So that is the dot insert. Uh, still moving through, we have remove an item from, from the list via indexing. So uh, if you remember, I mentioned before the pop method. Uh, if you leave this pop empty, if I left it like this, then it would have popped off the last element, which would have been 11 from our, from our list. But if I'm putting uh, three, it's gonna array num as our variable dot pop and three is so from the index position, whatever is at index position number three for array num, remove it. So if we look at our list, zero, one, two, three, then we should be popping off a of five. So we'll F8 through that. So sure enough, our new list now is missing the number five uh, because we, we told it with the dot pop method, remove whatever is at index position three. So we're not putting in the number you want to remove or the integer you want to remove. You're putting in the index position you want to pop out. And again, if you left a blank, it would have just done it from the, the back end of the list. Uh, what do we got next? Remove the first occurrence of an element. So the first occurrence of an element doesn't necessarily mean the, um, the first number in a list or the first integer in a list. So the first occurrence of an element is the first time that is, whatever that element is that we're specifying, the first time it shows up in our list going from left to right, of course. So we have new array, let's F8 through this. We're gonna have a new variable that's made. So we have new array, an array uh, named I, 13573931111. So what I did here is you can see that I, I have multiple number threes that are existing within memory three things of the same value. Uh, next part, we're gonna print new array just so we can see it. So we have our new array that printed out on the right-hand side with our debugger. And now we have new array dot remove parentheses three. Now remember, the number three is gonna mean zero, one, two, three. Let's go F8 it. Let's see what happens with dot remove. Look at that, it removed. This is where, I don't want you to get confused. So look at, this is where let me make this straight. I'm going to slow down my speaking for just a second. If you look at dot pop, we put parentheses number three, and it had nothing to do with the integer. It had to do with the index location. But now below with dot remove, we're not putting in an index location. We're actually telling it the integer that we want to remove the first occurrence of. So all that did in this in this piece here, because if you look at what was index three, zero, one, two, three, index three was a three. Um, but we want to remove the three, the first occurrence of the three. Let me just 
Let me add faith through that. I want to show you. Um, probably should give me an error. Good. I wanted to show you that if this was if to prove that it, this is um, integer reference and not integer argument and not a, a, a an index argument, I put dot remove two. So you, if it was an index argument, it would have went zero, one, two. It would have removed the number five, and then it would the first occurrence of five in the list and went through. But it's not an index argument; it is an integer argument. So I put remove two. If you look at our, our array, there is no number two. So I got new array dot remove two, a value error array dot remove x. X is not in the list because there is no number two in the list. So it is, has nothing to do with um, indexing. That actually has to do with integer location. So now if I go back and I put it to five and we run it, we're going to have our new array and it will have without the number five. Because here we're printing new array, the full array, and then we remove the first occurrence of the number five with the dot remove. Going through, I'm going to bring this back to three just so it's clean. And then down below, last we have convert an array into a list. So as you can see, we have our array, which is named I. We put it in as a list. But there are different, there are different uh, things you can do with arrays and lists and vice versa. So sometimes you may want to convert it through. So all we're doing is I have print type of new array. And you can see down below here where printed the class was array.array. .array, because remember, we imported, or from array, we imported the whole darn thing, the whole library. So new array, which is referring to this variable here, which we use the array method, um, or from the array library rather, we applied the variable i to name the array, and then we gave it a list. So x equals new array dot to list, and then open and close parentheses. So it's going to take the entire thing. To list is exactly just doing that. It's going to make it into a list, and then we have print type x, which is simply tells me down here it is now a list. So we went from print type new array and then print type x and it tells me we went from array dot array which is the library we imported to a uh, type list so that's going to be it for this video go through the, the go through the code play with it mess with it try the different indexing parameters uh, see what happens if you change uh, these these uh, open and close brackets to parentheses um, see what happens if you just put open and close parentheses with array num see what happens when, when you do that uh, play with it have fun and I will see you guys on the next video